The trunk setup is not good on the BRZ. We made it ourselves, Calvin and I, years ago, and it's not the best. Hey, pipe down over there, bud. <laughs> so, we are going up to a local shop that is like the king of doing trunk setups. It is like two and a half hours away, and then on our way back down home from there, we're gonna swing by Rad Industries and pick up the Z, and we get to finally go over the full review of it today. Got the BRZ loaded up on the trailer, which is like one of the scariest things in the world to do because this car literally fits on the trailer by like that much on each side. But everything is locked down, ready to go. And we're about to start our trip. This is the reason why the shop smells like pee. Not me, your dog. It is your dog. Kona takes the largest peas, dude. He's a big boy. He's a big boy, Ev. Like 12 seconds later. I just unloaded the BRZ. I got it over there with R35, ripped Ariana. The whole goal for this, and I guess I haven't really told you guys anything yet, but for those that are going to see me this year, this will be at the Meguiar's booth outside. This will be my first car I'm ever taking to SEMA. I'm also taking another car to SEMA, but I'm gonna keep, keep that a secret just a little bit longer. Like the one thing that my BRZ is missing, Miley is missing, is a beautiful trunk setup. And if you're taking a car to SEMA, for those who don't know, SEMA is like the holy grail of car shows. It's actually like a car convention. It's in three weeks. And usually everybody like every company every like brand brings their best baddest car to SEMA to show it off And it's like world coverage It's a dream to literally have a car at SEMA and to have Miley go to SEMA this year and represent Not only me. I feel like you guys our journey our everything Miley is a perfect car to take and the trunk setup on this car You guys have seen it. It's disgusting. It's terrible. It's an empty na naked tank It's the one Calvin and I built like two years ago for it. It's hideous. We're having sadistic ironworks do it. They are like the top dogs for doing trunk setups. I'm so honored to have my car here to get it done. I don't know what the timeline is. I asked Bobby and he was like, honestly, dude, SEMA is our timeline. So that's three weeks away. So we'll probably get this car back in like two weeks or so. I'm going to give them their time. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. I don't know what kind of setup we're doing. I literally said, Bobby, I want you to take your imagination, your creativity and throw it into this car. Make it badass. Make it special. For certain creators and stuff that I like trust with building cars, like Dan was one of them, which I will show you guys later today. Um, and Bobby is one of them. I like to sometimes give them like free reign whatever they want and this makes something super special that's like their craft and that is exactly what we we're doing with the BRZ so I don't know what it's gonna look like I can't even tell you what you guys what I think it's gonna look like because I have no clue I'm excited though Miley is in for a real treat today oh you're right with man. Miley dropped off we are now going to pick up Selena at Rad Industries fun fact I had a warm monster so I put it in a cup full of ice it tastes good what the fuck you stole my meme I came up with it and He's a meme stealer. You would think that chilled monster on ice wouldn't be good, but it is. Are you unbelievable? So unbelievable. now you know. <laughs> <laughs> An hour and 32 minutes to go. So we're there. We've already been driving for like four hours today. Are you just gonna glaze over the fact that you stole my meme? So we're almost there. Unbelievable. I hope you guys are ready to see this. Because I'm not. My body ain't ready yet, but my mind is. My but my body is not. You're not ready. Ooh. <laughs> Damn! I can see it all the way down there. That ain't even your car. Whose car is that? Damn, son. Dan's got a parked out waiting for us. Oh, oh my baby. god. Oh, baby. That doesn't even look Dude, you should like. Drive. You should drive that on the street now. That's like a street car. We should just drive it home. Yeah, we should, we drive should just it home. send it home. It looks good. Oh! 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 oh. Should we go get Dan or should we just go, should we just go take a little peek? Oh my god! Later, Dan. Hey, we're stealing it now. Later, Dan. Oh my god. We need to fix that rear fitment. I'll address that later, but oh my god. Dude, that finish is incredible. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> we're about to just take it away. Dude, it looks so good. It looks so good. You need the window. You can literally good... see out of that window like effortless. Oh my god. I love this. Dude, this rear window. Oh, it's so pretty too. Everything's black and looks like so clean. A new plate. It's not bunk anymore, Cal. It doesn't have that Calvin cut. Hey, fuck you, bro. My inside of my doors are the same color. It's all clean. Everything's clean. Glad you like it. Dude, everything's covered. I won't get hassled by any of the tech. It's all covered. And then look, it's like we powder coated back in there. That other piece that used to be there. Yeah. 
like? It's just too nice now. Dude, it's like nicer than any of my street cars. Like this is like the nicest car I have now. <gasps> oh man. It smells just like fresh paint. Oh, it smells so, so good. So there's one thing that was supposed to come in the mail today and it didn't freaking come. The valve cover didn't come. Okay, watch. It will never ever look this good ever again. Remember this day, boys. So one thing about Rocket Bunny is these rear fender pieces are like super, super high arches. That's like famous for Rocket Bunny. And it's a little bit wider now. Get a little bit more aggressive wheel or honestly, it'll probably just do a little bit larger of a spacer to fill it out. But I don't know if I really want to lower it because the last thing I want is to be too low. And this is exactly the same height we had it before we dropped everything off. And if I go any more low, I'm going to have issues of it hitting the bottom, especially going off track, which is what I don't want to do. I don't really mind the height. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, you need to go lower. But keep in mind, this is the race car. This isn't the street car. We're going to warm it up and just do a couple little victory drives up and down the street because we always do it. And we'll probably load it up on the trailer and go home. The valve cutter was supposed to be here today, but it's not here today. Fortunately, it got delayed in shipping. So we'll probably pick it up later this week when we go visit Dan at Formula the Drift Irwindale. Well, let's start this up for the first time. It's been so long since we've been in this car. <laughs> oh my God. It is. I don't know why it's so loud. Oh, I miss that. Oh, I miss that. It's like when you shut it off, it's like... <laughs> oh, man, that's so good. feels so much different than I remember. Dan said when they were taking everything apart and like repowder coating much of stuff, they took off the manifold. The T4 flange gasket, yeah. It was like destroyed. It was like, there was only like half of it left. And so we're like, um, okay, let's put a new one, obviously. And then we get it back together and the turbo's like really responsive and whistles a lot. It's like, I can hear a difference and it feels much snappier. The alignment on the front end is like completely fucked. When I came down, like I threw it in, it has like this weird like, not binds, but it like sticks on when I go to lock, it like sticks. And like, I was like understeering as we were coming in. But when you go on the drift, it like, it, it slides, but you kind of have to overpower it. So alignment is happening tomorrow and probably pictures happen tomorrow because it will never look then go this drifting. good. And then go drifting, hopefully before FD, which is this weekend. So it's not that much time, but feels really good. I'm ready to get back on the track. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you guys how happy I am. Oh my God, it's so good. The car too just got cut and polished, so the paint is like so perfect. I can't even begin to describe. Huge thank you to Dan, huge thank you to Ride Industries. If you guys need any work done on your cars, I seriously can't speak more highly of them. They killed it, they beat the timeline, and everything on it is literally exactly what I dreamed. The glow up is real. Video will never do this paint justice. I wish you guys could see it in person. Hopefully some of you do get to see it in person someday. This time I, I thought ahead of the curve and I have a spare front bumper painted. I'll need to get spare side skirts and rear over fenders and spare front bumpers and all that stuff painted and we'll, we'll start the collection enough. But this level of detail and everything is insane. It literally is like crazier than my RX-7. Well, probably not crazier than the RX-7, but for what it is, it's exactly what I was looking for. There's not much I can really say. Like, it's just looking at it does all the talking. Yeah, the whole rear end's powder coated. Oh. Now, this is so good. Colored and powder coated. Oh, oof. Yeah, dude, all of this is powder coated in the rear. Look, the new fuel system set up. Oh, it's warm. It 
feels brand new nice. lines everywhere. So fun fact, this exact color that I have on this color on this car was the color that I was doing that RX-7, but I didn't do it just because so many people do a, a candy red on the RX-7. Unbelievable. Look at this, how can you say no to that? I don't know man, but I'm so glad it's on this car. And just like the tie-in even with the steering wheel, the red notch to the gray to the, oh man, everything, everything. I wish the valve cover was here, but it'll be here soon. I don't know if you guys are bored of looking at this yet, but I'm still just staring at it. <laughs> like, oh, this is a drift car. I wanna make a mental note that we're not there. This isn't gonna make me drive the car any less. I'm just soaking in all the beauty and glory that is this car right now. Wait till December. Easter egg. Remember this. Before we conclude tonight's video, I want to announce the winner of the Tang Tools giveaway, and that is DOHC underscore boost 2.0. I'm gonna be sending you a DM with the following instructions of what to do. I'll give you 24 hours to respond to the DM, and if you do not respond, you will move forward and pick another person, Ripperino. I just sent you a DM, so hopefully you'll respond. And on that note, I'm gonna to end today's video. Sabrina just made me some pasta, so that is gonna call it for me. It's scratch from a bag. I hope you guys enjoyed the new look on the 350. That is all I have time for today. I will see you guys first thing tomorrow. <laughs> Peace, Peace out. out. Stop it. No. Nope. Keep no. moving no. forward. Oh, that's such a bad. That's so not okay. You're putting it in it. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, my God. Peace out and keep moving forward. Right. And I'm feeling good.